This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello everyone, welcome back, it's your boy Grim Cookies. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like literally yesterday that I was here doing this for Eco Lifestyle, and we're already on to the next pack. We're here with Nifty Knitting, and this is my Cass review. So, it's going to be an interesting one. I have been vehemently on the other side of all of the votes since day one for this stuff pack. I didn't want knitting, I didn't want this art style, I didn't want these clothes. But I was outvoted, and we we love we love a good vote. That's the beauty of the community. That is the beauty of these community made stuff packs because, you know, the majority wins, and that's what we've got here. So I don't know if I'm going to be the biggest fan of this stuff pack because knitting is very 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 low on my list of things I want out of all of the different stuff pack options. It was. My very, very lowest one. Um, that's okay. I personally wanted the Grim Reaper pack, but that's just me. That's just me. The community did vote and they did vote on knitting. So this is what we've got. Um, I will say though, that the one part that I have loved that I've seen so far is the part that we didn't vote on and that's the hairs, interestingly enough. So um, yeah, this is my cast review. There are a, a, There's a few items to go over. I'm not sure on the exact total, but um, there are some like, hidden goodies that we're going to get into too. So I've like, um, I've unlocked all of the different creatable items that don't show up in CAS automatically or that are like locked in CAS automatically. So I'm going to show you everything that you can make, um, with the actual knitting skill. And then also the things that just come in CAS from the start. So I'm excited. Let's jump into it because this should be interesting. Okay, so I'm here with the adult female assets. Now, right off the bat, I will say I've only gone through the female ones just to set up the categories and all that. And I was actually surprised at how little um, the cast content seems to be. Maybe um, there are a lot more for like kids or whatever. But I was um, I was a little bit I was a little bit surprised. So I'll, I'll walk you through it. We're gonna start at like shoes today. We're gonna I'm gonna go through like the accessories before I do the clothing because I tend to forget it. Um, so there will be timestamps throughout the descript, the, you know, the little bar down the bottom, if you want to skip ahead to any of the different categories. So shoes, we have, um, just one pair because I don't know what this issue is that it always shows like different packs when you've got a filter on, but anyway, it's just this one pair here. Um, they're quite cute. They do look, um, like they've got that knitted. This is not something your sim can, I'll show you all the stuff that they can actually create separately. This is just the content that comes in cast straight off the bat. So these shoes are just unlocked. Um, I mean, they're not the prettiest. They definitely fit the aesthetic that everyone voted for. I will say that. So we can't fault the Sims team for these items because we voted for them. <laughs> um, they're like cowboy boots, but they've got this little knitted feature and they look em embroidered as well. Um, look, they, some of the more neutral swatches like this one, definitely cute, definitely cute. But overall, not the biggest fan. Um, there are a bunch of new socks. They or they're not currently accessible. It does tell you um, you need to be uh, knitting school level two, level two, and level two. Um, so it, different items unlock at different levels of that skill, which is really cool. I like that they're actually showing the items in CAS anyway, so you know that you've got stuff to still unlock. I like that feature. I wish they did that with like the career items too. I wish they showed up in CAS but had this little lock on them and said locked until you reach so-and-so of the fashion designer career or whatever, because I feel like that'd be cool. Um, okay, so bottoms. There's only two. I was surprised by this. I thought there would be a lot of cast content in a pack about knitting, but anyway, and they're not even knittable. They're just jeans. <laughs> um, I will say though that I am super happy that they included two, two pairs of the, like two variants of these jeans. They've got a version here that's got these little, um, like, they look like, like rhinestones, kind of like jewelry, if that makes sense. Um, and then they included a plain version as well. We love that. We stand versatility. Um, it's so cool. I'm really happy. These jeans, as all jeans that the, the Sims team makes, they would look a lot better high-waisted, but your boy will be creating a um, nifty knitting add-on pack. So keep an eye out for that. We will be high-waisting these jeans for sure. But again, I just want to do super big shout out to whoever made the decision to do two variants of this jean, because I even remember... Can't remember who it was. It could have been Little Simsy, or maybe it was Deli that said um, that they were really unhappy that these jeans seemed to have like little rhinestones on them. But we got two. We got two. So that's awesome. They are really cute jeans, just in general. I like them. I like them. 
Full body, there's only one, but it's locked as well. We'll go through it in a minute. Um, as for tops, there's only two, three, four, there's only five. It's not that many. This is a stuff pack, I guess. I think I'm forgetting that it's a stuff pack, but yeah, anyway. There are a lot of build mode items, I will say, um, from what I've seen. This top is quite cute. I need to get over the fact that I don't like the knitting aesthetic because everything I look at, I'm like, oh, it's ugly, but it's, but I'm just not into the aesthetic in general. So like, again, I wouldn't use this on my Sims, but it fits in with the actual packs design. I really like this white swatch though. This is gorgeous. And the black swatch, um, I like them, but like these swatches, I'm like, oh, this red one's actually nice, but like. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, this top is nice. I will say though that I'm not the biggest fan of the shape of it. It feels very much like that base game top with the bow on it, um, like the shape, and I, I didn't like that one either, but it is nice, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. This is going to be a long review, by the way, warning, which is why I've got those times down below, um, so you can skip ahead, because I don't, I feel like it's going to be a lot to sit through, but... Yeah, I just am not big on like the knitting aesthetic, so I'm not. I don't like clothes that have these embroidered flowers on them. I feel like it's really ugly. Um, personally, like um, I need to make it clear when I say things are ugly, I don't mean that the designer that made them did a poor job. The designer did a really good job because it actually looks like these flowers are embroidered onto the top. Like they've done a really good job. I just personally don't like the aesthetic of the clothes. Um, but that's not. That's not like. Even though I'm reviewing it in a capacity that EA has made this pack, it's not the fault of EA or the Sims team because this is what people voted on. So there are a large chunk of you guys out there who like this aesthetic and wanted this. And that's awesome. I'm really happy that we have gotten another community created pack because I think like, I think it's just an awesome idea. I love the concept. I think it's really, cu like, really cute. Um, it's just not the pack I would have liked. I was big on Laundry Day. I voted for everything that won in Laundry Day. But in this pack, I just haven't been... I haven't been vibing. That's the truth. That's the truth. Um, okay, so there are... Were there accessories? I don't think there were accessories. No. Um, there is one hat, but it's locked again, which is fine. As for the hairs, remember how I said that I liked them? I was mistaken. I was mistaken. I like this one. This is the sole exclusive hair that I like in this pack. It's absolutely gorgeous, by the way. When I say that they knocked this out of the park, this is 10 out of 10 level quality from The Sims team. Look at these baby hairs on The Sim. Absolutely gorgeous. The CC community is going to go wild with these. It's so awesome um, that we finally have some in the game. And I think it's I think it's really cute. It's really cute. It looks amazing. This hair is gorgeous, especially in all the different swatches. I really like the... There was one of these swatches that had really pretty color this one i really like the like the brass golden little accessories in the platinum hair it's just it's gorgeous like it's literally gorgeous which is cute we love that we love that okay um hmm <laughs> uh it works if you're making a sim that is like a 50s housewife um i don't know anybody that has this hairstyle and I, I it, like, for an elder sim, right? For a woman who's like a grandma, she's knitting, it's cute, it's cute. Like, I get that. So I'm not gonna say anything negative about it. It is very well made, the texture, the mesh, looks amazing, looks stunning. I'm just never, ever gonna use this on a sim that's not an elder. Um, I don't know if I'll even use it on my elders, but it is it is really well made. Um, I can see some CC potential here, so that's, that's always fun. Um, the other three hairs, uh, like like mascu typically masculine shorter hairs, so I'm gonna check them out when we've got a male sim here. Um, just quickly, if you wanted to see them on the film my frame, that's them. Um, nothing wrong with them; they're not particularly bad. But yeah. Anyway, so I'm now gonna show you all of the different um, unlockable items through the gameplay. So we'll jump to that. Okay, and we're here. We're here with the socks. Um, they are quite cute. I do like these socks. Um, socks are one thing that I feel like fits the knitting aesthetic personally, so, um, I'm a fan. Um, I mean, I actually thought I liked them, but there aren't, I mean, this is okay. I wish there was more plain swatches. Um, ombres are not in anymore. Who keeps telling the Sims team that ombres are in? Because they're not, they haven't been for a while. Um, 
Nobody wants ombres anymore. <laughs> I personally don't. I don't know any of you guys that don't. I've said this quite often in like Twitch streams or in like the Discord chat or something. I'm like, ombres, are we a fan? And nobody seems to be a fan. So I don't know who EA is making this like mandate. Like you get an ombre, you get an ombre. But I don't know. Personally, I don't feel like ombres are in anymore. And I feel like it's, it's like a one, it's one of those like fashion trends that has very much died out for me. Um, and that I can see around me. So I don't know why we keep getting ombres because instead of like ombre swatches, I would have liked just like plain white, plain black versions of these socks. Cause that would have been cute. Um, but that's cool. That's cool. Anyway, we've got these little like, um, hidden socks. These are like the ones that you kind of like wear when you don't want your socks to show. Um, but they're knitted. So I'm, to me, these look like bed socks, like something you just wear to bed. Um, I am wondering though, I don't, I might be able to zoom in in post-production, but there's these little white lines on top of the socks that look like they're not meant to be there. That looks like a mistake. Uh, and they're, they're on this one too. I noticed it before, but they're like, um, they're only on some swatches. It's weird. Like there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, these socks are cute. Again though, I like, I like the knitting aesthetic, but give us some neutrals, please. Please feed me. <laughs> I need the neutrals because my Sims that are going to wear these are not going to want colorful socks. They're going to like, oh, I liked it because in real life you can get like knitted cotton socks, but in plain colors and they're really cute. Um, so I like, I know that this aesthetic is what won. There were more neutral like knitting aesthetics that we could have voted for, but I still, we say it every time, just a plain black and a plain white swatch will go hundreds of miles in terms of making the CAS assets more versatile and usable. So I can't see me using any of these socks, even though they are cute because I don't know. Yeah, anyway, anyway, um, this is the full body outfit. I didn't, I didn't check what level this is unlockable at, but it's, it's quite cute. I'm actually a fan of this. The cardigan over the dress is like very cute. And we, oops. Um, and we actually got some more neutral, like tones for this one. So I'm happy about that. Like, especially this one, this is really pretty. It's really gorgeous. I like that. Okay. So this is the next, let me put a different hair on it. We'll put that really ugly one on just so we can see the tops. Um, this one, I like the scarves. A lot of people were like, Oh, we're going to get scarves as like accessories now. And I was like, from the start, I was like, that's not going to happen. I, like, I, I know that's not going to happen because, um, like as a CC creator, I understand how the game mechanics work in terms of textures, meshes, placement, that kind of stuff. It would be impossible to add scarves in like as separate items. They would have to like dramatically overhaul the entire system of how textures and meshes and all that work in The Sims 4. So I knew that wasn't going to happen, but I am kind of sad that they only included two tops with scarves and both of them are more mature styles. I would have really loved like, um, let me just find something basic say like a long sleeve bodysuit see I'll, I'll, I'll show you some like custom content versions of what I'm talking about because um like I created this turtleneck not long ago as part of my custom content collaboration with Savvy Sweet um and I would have liked something like this but with a scarf on it like something that younger sims can wear as well because I know that we always go on about adult sims never get any love elder sims never get any love and that's true but I would have um, I would have really liked some more modern, like street wear style fashion with scarves because knitting, knitted items don't necessarily have to be old, if that makes sense. Like the fashion style of them, because, um, only a very small demographic of people would wear this fashion style. And I guess that it's like, um, more elderly in its style. Not that that's necessarily across the board, like young people can wear it and old people can wear young people clothes, etc. There are no like labels that everyone, everyone can wear anything really, but I would have liked some styles that weren't like super, super like this style. You look at it and you know, this is for like an adult to elder sim, which is good because they need more fashion, but the scarves, I would have liked a scarf on something more simple and cute for my younger sims to wear in, in winter because anyway, anyway. I'm rambling. This, this is just, <laughs> um, it's funny. It's like, it's comedic. It's for comedic purposes. This is something that you like master creator Sims can wear once they've like hit level 10 of the knitting skill. It's funny. It's funny. It only comes in one swatch. 
Um, I digress. What was next? I think it was just a hat, right? Is this one? Oh, I've got to take this off. Oh, oh. There we go. Um, we can put a nice hair on it again. This is this is cute. I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Again, my Sims are not really gonna wear this ever, but I don't hate it. It's cute. Um, so that's all of the items for adult female Sims. We'll jump into adult male now, and then we'll do kids and toddlers. Um, we've this is going to be a long review. <laughs> okay, so I'm he I'm here with Emmett Humphrey from our Eco Lifestyle Let's Play, which, um, apologies, we do need to have a conversation, if for those of you who watch it, about the future of that LP, because it's, um, anyway, that's a conversation for a different time. I want to show you guys something, and I'm just going to, I'm going to be silent. I'm going to let you guys be the judge of this. Yeah. Um, I understand that the aesthetic choices of this stuff pack are to cater to, to other age groups in the game. Like, we wanted clothing that would work well on elders, and we voted for clothing that would, and, hair, and well, not the hairs actually, that would work well on elders. So... I, on one part of me is like, oh, a receding hairline that's like really, really, really like high up. Um, that is kind of good for elder sims. But then the other part of me is like, well, mm, it's just ugly. Um, I've got a, like a, I need to take his like skin details off or whatever so I can show you guys the... Did I get it? Yeah, okay. So, um, it's just, um, I like the texture. I just really don't like receding hairlines in The Sims. It, like, makes them really have really large foreheads, and it's not a good look. Even on Elder Sims, I'm not really into it. I feel like we have enough of those hairstyles in the base game, in my opinion. Um, I just, like, mm, I don't know. I just, mm, I don't like these. <laughs> um, I don't like them. That's all I've got to say. They, there's nothing wrong with them, per se. They're just, um, it's just weird. It's just weird. Anyway, and then we've got this hair, which is like, has a weird amount of volume. It's so voluminous. Um, let's, let's tone that down. We're going to need a custom content fix for that. Um, it's cute. It kind of looks like how my hair looks in the morning when I wake up. Like, the volume of it is just, like, it's up here. You can't even see. My, my screen cuts it off. Like, my hair does that in the morning. Because I, I get really bad bedhead. That's what this makes me think of. Um, it's not the worst, but it's not the cutest either. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's an alright hairstyle. I will say that I feel like they could do a lot better for male hairstyles. I've male hairstyles. I feel like they've been like missing the mark for a while now, and the female hairstyles just keep, keep keep getting better and better and better. But the male hairstyles, it feels like they've run out of ideas, and they're just like, oh, let's just make another short sides, long puffy top male hair. Let's just make another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and so on it goes. Um, they could get a lot more creative with the male hairstyles, especially, like, why... I know that you can take the tag off and use this hair for males, which is which is great. Let's do that, because um, I didn't actually look... It does look really good on guys, too. The baby hairs doesn't really make sense on... Because that's not something that guys typically do fashion-wise. But they can if they want. Um, I would have... Like, they could have gotten a lot more creative and made some more male hairstyles in this, like, like textured, like the locks. Um, they could have... They could be a lot more creative than they are, and that really bothers me, um, because I feel like male sims are typically underrepresented in cast items. There are a lot less stuff for males in, in than there are females in this stuff pack. And I know we voted on that, but again, I, I think... They need, they need to balance it out. They need to be just as creative for male sims as they are for female sims. And the hairs is one place in particular that they really aren't, in my opinion. Because, like, this is a stunning ha female hair. Um, 
and it has the baby hairs. It can be used on males, but like, why can't they make some more creative male hairstyles? I'm gonna throw some up on screen and just show you guys some of the styles that people wear in real life that they could have created that would have been really well to like go in this pack. I, f I just feel like they could get a lot more creative with male hairs. We didn't need this hair. This hair has been done a thousand times before in the game. We don't need another exactly the same male hairstyle. We, they could have gotten more creative. That's all I'm going to say on that. Um, I might be a bit biased to it because I see all the amazing creations that the custom content community make, but I feel like hairs are just not good. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Um, as you can see, there are only five tops for male sims. Um, this sweater's really cute. Um, and it, again, it comes in solid basic colors. Why couldn't they have done this for the female items? Like, weird. I will use this sweater all the time. I think it's absolutely adorable. I really love it. Um, same with this cardigan. I don't like the stripe. I would have liked not to have the stripe, but... Um, it's cute. It's cute. Nothing wrong with it. This is probably my favorite item creator sim in the entire pack just because it's really cute. I would wear this, this swatch, the red, um, white, black. I think it's really cute. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. There are no full body items. We have the same jeans that we got for females, but they didn't do the rhinestone version accessible for males. If you take the tag off, they're there, but like, can guys not wear rhinestones? Is that what you're saying? I feel like that tag shouldn't have been like that. I feel like they both should have been by default accessible for male masculine like I don't like a rhinestones really something that we're segregating by gender now I understand that you can just take that little X filter off but I feel like it shouldn't have been there in the first place I feel like just make them for both genders it's really not difficult you've actually done the work but you've put a little like you've put it behind a wall saying you have to you have to take your sims out of this masculine mindset to be able to put sparkly things on your clothes and I don't like the... I don't like the... Mindset that that promotes, if that makes sense. Um, why is it not masculine to have, like, shiny things on your clothes? I understand that in society, typically, it's not presented as something that's masculine, but why can't it be? Why can't a, a guy that, like, presents masculinely cannot wear that? Why does that make... Like, I don't like them. I don't, I, I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. I don't like the mindset that it promotes that you can't be masculine and be a bit glamorous at the same time. I think that like, I don't know. I think we have a ways to go in society in terms of like letting men express creatively in their fashion sense without labeling them as not masculine because you can be masculine and be creative and be glamorous at the same time. It's not impossible. Anyway, that's my TED talk on why I feel like there shouldn't be a masculine feminine filter on that exact pair of jeans. Uh, it's just something that I'm passionate about because I like they're in the game. Why put them behind a masculine, like an, a feminine filter? Because I don't feel like they need to be. We have the same socks. I don't think they're actually locked for male sims like they are female sims, which is odd um, because I haven't put the unlock cheat in for me. And you can see that the tops aren't unlocked, but the socks are. So I don't, I don't get, I don't understand. Um, there are no shoes for men. I know that we vote, again, I know that we voted on these items, so it is on the community. But again, they should have like made a decision behind the board to be like, okay, no matter what gets voted for, we need to make sure that male and female sims get equal representation in the, the amount of items they get in this pack. Because that, I think that should be a mandate. I feel like they shouldn't let the community vote just for female items. I feel like it needs to be a set thing that there should be equal amount of items for both genders because male sims got nothing compared to female sims in this stuff pack and it's not a once off. It's a constant thing that happens in, in, in packs. So anyway, that's all of the male items besides the unlockable tops. Um, let's just go ahead and, and do that. There is a cheat that you can use as well um, that they've like posted publicly as far as I know. Um, Again, it's just the same things like that the females have, but just male versions, which I like. I like making things gender neutral. I think that's awesome. But don't tell me that my Sims can't be masculine and wear gender neutral clothing, because I feel like that's kind of what that tag was saying. Um, anyway, that's all of the male items. Let's move on to the children. Okay, right off the bat, again, I'm super happy with this direction that they seem to be moving in, in making 
all of the hairs that they create work for all age ranges. Like I've just jumped into, I just made Emmett a child and you can see that they've used all of the hairs um, they've made for child sims as well, which is super awesome. Um, so I don't need to spend too much time on them. I will say though that, again, the receding hairline look doesn't work on children. Children don't necessarily tend to have receding hairlines. So it's just odd. I feel like for me, if I was tra if I was converting this to children, I would have just pulled that down. Um, because this kid's going bald. <laughs> um, but yeah, this hairstyle looks really cute on children, I will say. Um, so that's that. We have... Um, I'm going to take the gender tags off for this, um, and it doesn't look like it makes a difference anyway, which is great. Um, I know that I said I was going to separate the, the unlockable things out, but there's only one top and it's locked, so. Um, this is cute. This is cute. I I quite like this for child sims. I feel like it's kind of adorable. Um, yeah. It doesn't necessarily look homemade to me, though. This very just doesn't look home-knitted. This looks very much like something you'd see in, like, a store, which is like, anyway, um, there is a dress, which I don't, this is not unlockable, this just comes in the pack, it's, um, yeah, it's okay, nothing wrong with it, it's nice, I guess, um, there are no pants, I'm assuming we got all the socks that we got for adults, we did, they've included two versions of everything, which is odd, but anyway, um, Anyway, and those boots that we got for adults. Okay. Okay. Let's go to toddlers. Um, no tops. There are two full body outfits. That's cool. That's cool. Usually I would do this off camera, but honestly, I feel like there's so little, like as in going through all the categories and like seeing what's there, but I feel like there's so little amount of items that doesn't really matter. These onesies are cute. I think these are the same onesies that we got for babies as well. Um, I'm obviously not going to show that in the pack because babies are not a creator sim. They're not sims until they get to toddlers. They're just objects. <laughs> I know that we like to throw shade about it, but it's true. Where's that babies update? Um, everyone wants it and surely they're working on it. Surely, surely. They were working on toddlers and they always said they weren't. And um, we did get university when they said they weren't making it. So I feel like the babies update will come um, eventually. But yeah, anyway, so we've got these cute little onesies and then also this dress, which is adorable. There are no tops or bottoms or socks or shoes. Um, or hairstyles, really? Why? That's so odd to me. If you're gonna put in the effort to convert them to children, why not convert them to toddlers as well? I understand that the, the, um, like the lock style might not translate well into toddlers. To to can toddlers grow dreadlocks? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but it, well, not any of the hairs. Um, okay. Okay. I would have really liked the little, the one that I said was like for a 50 year old woman. I really wanted to put that on toddlers because I thought it would kind of work. Um, but okay. Okay. So that's everything. As I said, I know this is a stuff pack, but there are surpri surprisingly little um, creator sim assets in this. It's, um, yeah. So I don't even have some final thoughts. I, I've complained a lot in this video, as I said I would, because I did not want this pack. So none of the creator sim assets are necessarily things that I wanted. Um, you can, you can do some cute stuff with it though. Like this is kind of a look. I really like this, or even just with the plane. Um, like it's not the worst. Where those, where's those shoes go? Um, I know I never look at the, like the actual, these things, the styled looks, but again, it's like, I don't feel like they're necessarily nice. Usually I don't really use that part of Cass often. Um, yeah. And literally like the styled looks are using, like that's a base game jacket. That's a base game skirt. Like they're not, there's not even enough assets to do a full outfit except for this one. Um, which is, this is kind of cute. This is kind of cute. Anyway, that's my creator sim review. I didn't necessarily like a lot of the items that we got. Um, the hair, this hair and that one male top, they were really good. They were really good. But again, I have, 
um, problems with the ongoing issue of lack of male content in Creator Sim. Um, outside of it even being a vote, as I said, I don't think, I think it should be like, I think it should be a mandate. I think it should be a rule at EA in their offices when they're going over everything that they're going to make for Creator Sim for a pack. They should have a list. Things that male sims can wear, things that female sims can wear. And they should make sure that item is even or roughly even. There shouldn't be double the amount of female presenting clothes than male presenting clothes. Um, I say it in that way because it's like all sims can wear anything that they want these days. Like male sims can wear dresses, female sims can wear male, you know, etc, etc. Um, but there should still be equal representation in the actual fashion that's created for the pack. Like female sims have way more, they've got a full body dress, male sims don't have any full body outfits, they don't like, they've got one pair of jeans, it's the same ones that the females got, they've got the same jump, like they just got a couple of jumpers. I would have thought there would be a lot more knittable cast assets. Anyway, I'm ranting as I like to do, that's my creator sim review, I thought I was going to be more impressed. Yeah. <laughs> Stick around, I will have more coverage of this pack. Um, I'm really excited for the gameplay and the build buy stuff, so that should be good. I'm Grim Cookies, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I got a follow up. Yeah, cool. Um, anyway, um, you can catch me on Twitch. I live stream a lot more than I do like post content here on YouTube, um, just because Twitch is, I get to interact with you guys live, and I really love that. It makes it so much fun for me, so um, I do a lot of gameplay on Twitch. So if you are like, missing the let's plays and that kind of stuff head over and follow me on twitch because we do we do have fun on there so yeah thank you so much for watching um let me know are you excited about this pack do you like the items that you saw do you feel like there should be better representation across the board for male and female sims and child you know toddler etc um what are you thinking um uh, also i have a shell build up on my gallery right now i'm ke i keep ranting this outro is taking like 20 minutes um Grimshell01, it's going up until the 1st of August, and if you enter it and do it and put it on the gallery, um, you have the opportunity to win a copy of Nifty Knitting, because I'm going to give away to my favourite build. Um, you do have to be, like, in Twitch when we're doing the live stream, because that's how I'm going to give, give it away to a person in chat. That's how I'm going to do the... Anyway, just come watch on the 1st of August if you want to win a copy. There's more details over my Twitch page, so yeah. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah.